Hello guys, welcome to Sovereign Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your sovereign problems. It's nice having you in class today. We are going to show you how to um, plot spot height. Yes, um, the concept behind it is just to have your text written in AutoCAD automatically or maybe via a script. So that's just the concept behind it. Maybe if you have a um, um, text to write or maybe to, yeah, if there are notations, yeah, to make on your drawings, for you to have a multiple text written on your card, maybe on your drawing, that's just the concept behind it. So we are going to use spot height as an example. You know, the spot ties actually are heights you pick randomly, maybe to grapple survey or as the case may be. And then you want uh, those heights to be displayed or you want to see those heights displayed on your plan or on the map or as the case may be. So you'll be seeing those heights displayed on your plan. So that's what we are going to show you how you are going to go about it. So the first thing now is that we are going to share with you the file we'll use for this end. Um, for this exercise so we have um, quite a number of spot types here and then we have the eastern northern and the we have the height so what we want to display on our screen is actually the height but we still need the eastern the northern and some other information which you are going to know in a couple of minutes or seconds so the first thing is that we are going to copy the data we need which is actually what the eastern northern and the what the height into another hurry so for me to highlight everything at once i'm going to use Control shift and then the lower arrow key am i right good so i lighted everything now then copy as a um, Control c right good so you can just paste it at um, anywhere you want to paste it but um, we are going to paste it um, at the top down right so we just say paste that once we say control v we paste it now that's the first thing we are going to do then the next thing we want to do is that remember that we have what eastern northern and height so we are going to give him a, a space after the northern for some other information so we come to this that particular um column there then we do what we right click and say insert right good we say insert which is this so what do we want to input on this um, new column that we've inserted what we want to impute here is the what is the text height are we together the text height so we want to use a text height of let's say five once we use the text height of let's say what five, then we say enter. We have to what auto fill. Then we insert again for the rotation angle. For the rotation what for the rotation angle. So what rotation angle are we going to use? Let's say we are using 60, which is actually 60 degrees. So we still come down here again and we do what we auto fill right good so we have what our eastern northern the text height the rotation angle and the height of the point are we together good next thing we want to consider is we want to consider the command you know what we want to plot now is we just want to see what we want to see the height split on the maybe the boundary or if you don't have a boundary we just want to see the height so we want to impute the command that AutoCAD will understand. So that when it's plotting it, it will know that it will just have to display what the text that we want to see. Like it will have to display the text. So um, I've actually said what the command is. The command is actually text. It will have to display the words, the height. So we are going to use the text command. So we still do what? We still insert a particular, we still insert a particular space around the earth let's see how that goes so we have this space here so we see what underscore text so you just get your underscore and then you type text e e x good 
and you do what and you just try to drag or you just to fill so we now have what a command this is a command that autocad was standard if you want it to be plotted as a text or as a case with the east thing the northern the, um, the text height the rotation angle and then the height or maybe the text you want to see are we together good i think these are the information we need and then we are just going to copy all at once and then paste on notepad so how do you copy all at once and um, use them control shift and then that um down uh, with it with the navigation key or navigation button like that so you highlight everything then you copy and you copy to control speed so you now launch your notepad and then you paste it there and you paste it there now at this point i have actually made some mistakes and then i have consulted some of my friends and especially this last time and the person just put me through you know you can actually see space here you think that yeah these are spaces are space but these are not actually the spaces we need for this particular exercise so you have to be careful on what you take as space because this is not actually space as we progress you'll understand what i mean by space now the first thing we want to do is that what we need or the command we are going to use to plot on AutoCAD is underscore text space easting comma northern space the text height space the rotation angle space the what the height of the point are we together so that's the format we are going to use however it is not displayed in that format one can actually argue that yeah this is space because that was the mistake i've been making until i was told that no this is not space now let's do what let's format it to the um the desired uh, let's say format we want to use on autocad so the first thing is that we want to have a comma between this our eastern and the northern so you can see that all the northerns are starting with 54 therefore if we copy a particular one down to the space we can actually apply it true so we say from this 54 down to the space we copy which is ctrl c and then ctrl h that ctrl h is just like i'm finding and what and replacing so you can see now so i think we have done it before so um ctrl um that um that copy rather 54 space then we have what comma 54 we have what comma 54 what this will do is that it will now change all these spaces up to the 54 to what to comma 54 which now be what is team comma not so we do or we replace all we replace all you can see now that that space that was between these two set of numbers which is our eastern and our northern have been what replaced with what comma so we are now having what eastern comma not then the next thing is now this text height and the what and the eastern i'm still saying that this is not the space we need so we copy from this 29 which is actually the prefix for all the values there so you'll have to be careful on knowing which is which so that you don't make a mistake so you do what you still copy and then you find and what and you replace in this case we are replacing it with what this is what we actually copied it has actually been um, imputed in that find what now replace with what i would like to still paste it there and then delete this their yeah, long space and replace it with just one space you can get that with your what your space bar are we together you can see now the difference between these two spaces the first one is longer than the second one so that first one we cannot take it as a space so you just replace it with that your one space and then you replace all so it will affect all where you copy it from 29 to what from 29 to that particular that particular point for the text are we together good now the next thing is that we also want to replace everything around here now um you will have to be careful again because um the data i'm working with might not be the data you work with later so you will have to know how the data is and how you can start your uh, replace find and replace uh, what you call this find and replace so you can see now that almost all of them are having that uh, that uh, that formatted space not the normal space so we can just copy one like this 
and say we are replacing all of that and you see that everything will work everything will change now let's see now ctrl c and then you come to ctrl h which is what you find that replace it has already been what we copied is actually undefined there and then we now see what we replace it with just one bit which is what from the space but are we together so you see what replace all can see now that those long spaces you saw earlier they've all been replaced by what you call it that one space are we together so that's how you format or that's how you sort or that's how you arrange the data for um, plotting of autocad now this is not the end of the video we are still moving so the next thing we want to do is that how do we now plot it on autocad you know there are different methods with which we carry out um, a particular task and surveying. So the method I'm going to share with you now might not really be the method you've been using, but now let's just see through. So the next thing is what you try to save this. You save this as a script file. You save it as what a script file. So we do what we say save as. We say save as, and then we save it as what save it as a script file. Now, um, okay, 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 let's say, um, ss, then, dot what, dot scr, how it together, ss, dot scr, that dot scr, we just choose that, we want to save that sort as a file, right, good, so, we now see what, we say what, save, has been saved as what well, has been saved as a script file so we are now going to run it normally as what as an autocad script we are now going to run it normally as what as an autocad script so now let's go so we come to what we come to autocad we come to autocad which is this and then we try to run it as what as a script file so you can actually locate where the File is all you just say scr as a command because you want to plot the script file, then it will navigate you to wherever your script file is and then um, access it and work. So, what we are looking for is them um, on um, um, it should be on the dex backup, then um, it should be on. Okay. So we access the file and do what open so you can see now that the points are actually being plotted you can see the points are mainly so it's taking some time for all of them to, to come up so if you followed us through up to this point you'll understand the process involved is uh, for you to sort your data on um, on excel as a um, text underscore text which is actually the command the eastern comma nothing now after the underscore text there will be a space the underscore text comma underscore text space rather then what your eastern comma your nothing then another space you have your um, your text height another space you have your rotation angle another space you have what the height you want to plot so now um the script has finished running so we can now see what um, was actually plotted so we can see what was actually plotted you can see now that these are the points so you see only the only the heights were being displayed you can see that only the heights were what only the heights were being displayed so this is the product we need this is actually um, a picture of the spot height that we are um, that we are picked or spot height data that we acquired um, along this particular area 
you can see now that you can use this method to plot anything you want to plot in as much as you want to play the height or you want to play information onward on the screen so the format is what underscore text you have a space eastern comma nothing you have another space the height of the text with the text size the rotation angle and then lastly the text you want to display on your screen which in this case is actually what our height so maybe if you want to display um, point id you have to put it there if you want to display names of maybe different locations you still have to work in it there so yeah this is how you go about it this is how you um, actually um, plot your text on, on autocad thanks for coming to class i hope you found this video interesting and you found it um, educative and um, i know you do so please um, subscribe to the channel if you're just coming in and if you've been with us thanks so much for always coming back to see our work then make sure you share with your friends, your colleagues, and uh, everybody you know that will need it. And until again, until I see you again on the next video, make sure you stay safe and have a nice time. Bye.